Hello everyone, I'm Tiara Chardé. I'm back with another message. I'm here literally lounging on my couch. I've had such a busy day. So shout out to everyone who has been supporting me, the channel, who has been booking with me, liking and sharing, commenting. I truly appreciate you. So this is going to be a very quick message. I had a lot of people messaging me about um, birth charts, uh, North Node, Midheaven, as well as the services that I have linked on my website, right? So in the description box, it's under um, the esoteric shop, okay? When you click on the esoteric shop linked in the description box below, you'll get to the birth chart services that I offer, okay? So really quick, if you have your birth chart pulled up, not necessarily the chart itself, but the um, where it has the houses and um, your placements and what signs you have where, that part, right? Like the, the report, the printout. Um, I really want you to take a look at your midheaven, okay? So really quick, right? The North Node is your North Star, where you're headed in this life, and the South Node is where you've already been. So it's your other lives, right? So like I was saying, make sure you tap into your North Node and your South Node right now. It'll give you great, great information. Right now we are in North Node Taurus, South Node Scorpio. So I really want you to pull up your birth chart, look at where your North Node and your South Node is placed, Get that information and then compare it to and I guess merge it with North Node Taurus and North Node Scorpio. I want you to combine them both, okay? We're going to do a little bit of esoteric research, a little bit of esoteric homework, okay? And see what comes up for you. Get as much information as you can. Take notes because this is the season we're in. We're moving more into... Um, aligning with our North Star, aligning with our higher self, walking our divine purpose, right? Walking in that light. And the midheaven is, um, I guess, like the application of your soul's purpose. Like what career um, are you able to flourish in as it applies to that purpose, right? So if you're meant to teach higher knowledge, maybe that looks like you starting a YouTube channel and teaching higher knowledge right teaching occult or esoteric information that's according to your purpose and that is the profession that you can hold right so that's kind of how you look at it right we're, we're doing it in layman's terms we're removing all of the super super logic and we're just gonna go with this easy method of like cracking the code right so your midheaven is um, profession, social status, ranking, um, how you are operating in today's society. And that is ruled by um, the 10th house. The 10th house governs that, okay? So um, right now we want to be focusing on the 10th house and the third house. That's what I was getting, okay? So what I have here is this wheel. You can get this like online, you could get this anywhere, all right? I highly recommend it. This will help you outline the houses that your sign is in, right? So maybe your third house Taurus, the third house rules, the mind, um, thoughts and things like that. So you would, you would pair that together. Um, so yeah, like I was saying earlier, I just randomly came across this. This was on my couch. I guess not so random because I had been doing birth charts and stuff like that um, and some studies on charts. But the 10th house and the third house really called out to me, okay? And of course, we know the 10th house is the midheaven, so it's what we have been talking about. But the third house was very interesting. It's the mind, thinking, communication. It's also siblings, social activity and interests, neighbors, and early education, and I really like that because, you know, in the midheaven, the 10th house, we have social status, right? We have your reputation. And in the third, we have social activities and interests. So I feel like right now, the divine is saying the 10th and the third house are very important. 
in addition to what I already named, right? So you have a lot of homework to do, but don't worry, make it fun, okay? Watch videos, pull up different resources and make the make the, it fun, okay? Make this education fun. But um, see where, see what sign is in your third house and gain as much information on that as you can because I feel like as we go through February, March, April, this the rest of this year, that's really going to play a part in how you show up and how you interact with other people, right? North Node Taurus is about um, a different and updated viewpoint of relationships and how to interact with others. And we see the third house has a lot to do with that as well. So it's, they're all playing on each other. All of these energies are playing on each other, okay? Um, when I do your birth chart report, I, I like, break everything down like I just take the information out I put it in layman's terms and I apply it to your life and how you can actually um the application of your birth chart is really what people are kind of um questioning at this time right and so I do that for you with the birth chart protection magic it is a legit ritual that I do and I also teach you that ritual right so we would have your diagram here we would go over it together i'd show you how to protect each house i'd show you um what divination tools i use i basically give you the secret sauce okay <laughs> so that you can do this on your own you could do it for your loved ones say your child or your romantic partner it's really important to understand your birth chart and how it is being affected according to the shifts that we're in right as well as teaching you how you can protect each house like your destiny right so your north node would be protected through ritual yes real life ritual your midheaven your social status because right now you have people throwing energy at you they're very jealous of your path and your purpose people are out here really trying to steal people's destinies and so i was given the task to help you protect that to help you guard that so that's that's what those services are. I wanted to um, just post a video because like I said, some of you have been reaching out and I apologize if it's like lagging right now. I probably have to delete some files on my uh, computer. So my apologies if it's doing that. But I just wanted to update you on what the services are, um, what it entails, how you can do this work for yourself because, you know, all of this information is available to you. You can do this yourself. If you want to go to somebody who has already done it and has done it for other people, you are more than welcome to do so. But really, my role is to let you know that you are powerful. You are capable of, of understanding this and gaining access for yourself, okay? Um, again, if you would like any information on any of the services or programs or courses that I offer, make sure you click on the link in the description box and specifically click on the esoteric shop to get to my birth charts and um and the birth chart protection ritual okay so i am tiara charday i will see you on the next message peace and love